குட் ஈவினிங் எவ்ரி ஒன் வணக்கம் காம் மைண்ட் அண்ட் ஹெல்த்தி பாடி ஸோ வித் சோ மச் ஆஃப் எக்ஸ்பெக்டேஷன் யூ டப் காம் டுடே ரைட் ஓகே ஸோ குட் டே எவ்ரி ஒன் இன்னைக்கு வந்து டுடே ஐம் கோயிங் டு டாக் டு யூ அபவுட் காம் மைண்ட் ஃபார் அ ஹெல்த்தி பாடி ஸோ பிஃபோர் மூவிங் ஆன் டு தட் ஐ ஜஸ்ட் வாண்ட் டு அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்ட் காம் அண்ட் வாட் இஸ் த மீனிங் ஆஃப் காம் கேக்குற ரெஸ்பான்ஸ் எல்லாமே ட்ரை டு கிவ் இட் இன் அ சாட் பாக்ஸ் சோ தட் லெட் இட் பி மோர் இன்ட்ராக்டிவ் ரைட் சோ காம் வாட் இஸ் யூ அண்டர்ஸ்டாண்டிங் அபவுட் காம் பீஸ் ஓகே ஓகே ஸ்டேபிள் மைண்ட் லெஸ் இமோஷன் ஓகே சி இமோஷன்ல வந்து ரெண்டு விதமான இமோஷன் இருக்கும் பாசிட்டிவ் அண்ட் நெகட்டிவ் ரைட் நெகட்டிவ் கம்மியா இருந்தா சம்பேர் யூ ஆர் இன் காம் மைண்ட் not doing anything being idle mind okay idle ah randa unume vela pannama randa you feel it is calm but idle ah randa something will be running at the back of your mind right chumma okandittunda edho yosichite irukom right okay see calmness nale where you are free of that anxiety or serene mind a tranquility okay agitation kada so calm ku opposite vandu agitated epovume or patatama irukadu paraparapa irukadu so they are all opposite to calm mind okay so calm mind is where you feel that your good hormones are produced in your body and it allows you to stay in a very stable emotion so idellame eppadi varum it's dependent on so many situations around us right tens free no agitation in the mind meditative mind very good so mind is not chattering right mind and very calm a irukku inga and it is not uh, Uh, raising around it is very focused okay so have you ever imagine why sometimes we are not in that calm mind yen calm mind epovume adhe nilayila yen irukka mudiyala what is the reason why we are not able to stay in that calm mind forever okay because of stress overthinking very good okay anxiety fine so if uh, okay you are preoccupied with something or the other okay have you heard the term emotional baggage emotional baggage na most of the time we are carrying that past trauma right or so called negative experiences so munadi nadantha trauma traumatic experiences probably whether it is through life or nammaloda relationship or nammaloda workplace career so some bad incident would have happened yeah i think video is visible right yeah uh, so sometimes whatever past has happened with us adiye nam nanachittu okkarathu that is what you are carrying your emotional baggage you are not letting it to go you are holding on to that but sometimes you want to get out of that but you don't know how right we will help you today so sometimes it is like emotional baggage eppadi irukona you can see somebody carrying a heavy load on their shoulders or on their head can they stand upright straight a nikka mudiyadu okay they will be uh, you know it will show in their posture they are bearing the unbearable weight are so similarly your mind is also undergoing the same state when you are carrying that emotional baggage it is not stable it is not able to focus but i agree everybody carries at some point of the time no no slide is not moving yeah uh, so everyone carries that unprocessed emotion sometimes we are just having it namakulliye vechirukom we are not letting it out we are not showing it out okay see emotions are nothing but they are expressions okay expressions are meant to be short term konja neram da irukano but sometimes we hold it for a lifetime certain emotions we carry it for a lifetime okay and that is not healthy that will affect your body so how can it affect my body if i ask you the way you think about yourself how you react to stress if edho or stress in vanda namma eppadi react aagum and what is happening to your physical well being and also your relationship with other people mathangaloda behave pannum bodhu how is your behavior so idellame vande that it is all because of the emotional package so today in this webinar at the end of the webinar you would have identified 
we are going to try to unpack the layers so irukirad ellathume we are going to try to remove all that where your emotions are stuck edunala irukku and emotions why you are not able to get out of that what is the reason so that you feel relieved okay uh, so before moving on to that i just want to ask you illa nainu slide move pannala uh, when was the last time you had a health checkup so almost i have 102 112 people more than 100 people here last time ungaloda health checkup epo paathinga once in two months oh very good once in two months six months probably one year yesterday okay so when i say health checkup nu solumbodhu what comes to your mind so basically your health nale it is my physical emotional health all put together right okay so okay physical and mental health physical fitness what okay you said net 6 maasam munadi 3 maasam munadi you have taken a, okay let us just try to do a small uh, activity now this is called your emotional health checkup so today for whatever reasons you are here attending the webinar okay we'll help to identify so inga vande we have listed around nine uh, statements rate yourself neengle ungala rate panikonga yes or no okay so rate yourself yes or no if you get four s and above four s and above then you are undergoing some issue right so try to rate yourself you have little interest in doing things பண்றதுக்கு இன்ட்ரெஸ்டே இல்லை இல்லை யூ கேன் ரேட் இட் ஓவரால் ஒரு நைன் இருக்கீங்க ஸோ ஃபோர் அண்ட் அபவ்க்கு எஸ் நீங்கள் கொடுத்தீங்கன்னா தெர் ஆர் சம்திங் ஹேப்பனிங் இன் யோர் மைண்ட் தட் யூ ஹாவ் டு கெட் அவுட் ஆஃப் இட் ஃபீலிங் டவுன் டிப்ரெஸ் அண்ட் ஹோப்லெஸ் ரொம்ப லோவாக இருக்கு யூர் ஃபீலிங் வெரி சேட் ஒரு ஹோப்பே இல்லை சம்வேர் யூ ஃபீல் லைக் லைஃப் இஸ் கோயிங் சம்வேர் ஒரு கோலே இல்லை ஓகே ஸ்லீப் இஷ்யூஸ் ஸோ இதெல்லாம் இருந்தாலே கண்டிப்பாக யூ அப்ரோ டு ஸ்லீப் இஷ்யூஸ் படுத்தா தூக்கம் வராது ஓகே படுப்பீங்க யூ வில் பி அன்னெசரி தெர் ஆர் சோ மெனி ரேசிங் தாட்ஸ் ரைட் ஃபீலிங் டயர்ட் ஓகே தூங்கி எழுந்தா கூட யூ ஆர் ஃபீலிங் டயர்ட் ஃபார் த ஹோல் டே இம்ப்ராப்பர் அப்பிடைட் ஸோ இம்ப்ராப்பர் அப்பிடைட் நீங்க சொல்லும் போது தெர் ஆர் டூ கைண்ட்ஸ் ஆஃப் அப்பிடைட் சம்டைம்ஸ் பீப்புள் என்ன பண்ணுவாங்க ஓன்லி ஒன் எஸ் வெரி குட் ஸோ யூர் ஒண்டர்ஃபுல் ஸோ அப்பிடைட் இருக்கும்போது என்ன பண்ணலாம் ஐதர் தே டென் டு ஈட் மோர் so they are called emotional eaters so epalla vand bore edikudhu when they are not feeling good they tend to eat they are called emotional eaters there are other set of people who don't even eat okay so extremities will always be there and sleep kodu sila per thoongikite irupanga if they are very depressed some people don't so there are extremities 6s okay so i think uh, there is something in the background happening with you okay feeling bad about yourself for whatever reasons you are having trouble concentrating on edha focus panna mudiyala okay 3 is fine i said 4 and above is somewhere you, we need to identify what is the issue irritable most of the time epovume and the coma ave irukku yara paathala and the irritation probably it could be some work pressure or some uh, personal problem but you are not able to come out of the irritation so people may tell enna epa paathala irritated ave irukinga so probably you don't want to be but your situation is making you to be like that self harming tendencies and thoughts why should i live okay i want to hurt myself for whatever situation you are going through whatever emotions you are going through right so try to identify so whatever nine statements i have given here they are a very very serious issues and three and above not three that is more than three ku s kudutinga na i think you have to really uh take some consultation with somebody so that they'll help you to overcome this problem all s okay don't worry fine okay so we'll identify what is the reason ye in the madri irukku okay so this destroyer of calm mind fear bayam right 
sometimes known sometimes unknown edunala bayam irukku na theriyama irukum probably you are not able to identify ungalku theriyala the other thing is greed so i have listed only very few so all these are negative emotion it is not a good emotion it's a negative emotion right okay anger kovam edunala kovam varudhu what is the trigger you don't know hatred sometimes we may not like somebody and the either apdi we are carrying it and at the end of the day it is going to harm your body not others you have to uh, learn that and suspicion yara pathala or doubtful nature so here where is this all originating idala enge nu varudhu so sometimes we may understand brain mind so brain and mind are not one mind um brain um synonymous kadaiyadu okay instead the ipa namba or computer language la sonna na computer la vandu hardware so brain is your hardware and your mind is your software so whatever you are taking in that will be the output if you take a uh, take negative emotion uh, take negative feelings negative thoughts your emotions will also be going to be negative right so idellame and the mind or the state of mind now, the kind of thoughts you have ungalku endha maari emotions irukku belief attitude so this all are formed over a period of time overnight varadhu kadaiyadhu right from our young age this is being built up so it depends on person to person what kind you are attracting more okay so identify which one you are attracting more so i've listed only very few negative emotion there are much more beyond that so i pachinna da we just want to identify identify okay uh so so here in the madri whenever you are in any negative state you know what is happening to your body the stress hormones are caused it is going and harming your body uh so nama vandu we are focusing on mind body therapies so that you become conscious of whatever is happening within you and the mental state vandu you are able to identify what is the problem and you have to come out of the destructive nature this is not going to do any good for you or for your health right so that is very important for you to understand okay do you know on an average everybody has you know on an average we have around 12000 to 60000 thoughts on a particular day can you imagine can you imagine nam nenakave maatom illa ivlo thoughts varudha appdinu so and out of that 80% are negative if we are prone to that negative thoughts negative emotion and do you understand 95% are recurring thoughts so innikku enna thought irukko and the 95% of the thoughts are going to be recurring again tomorrow on a day to day basis so in which way it is going to do any so ivlo irundha how how is that we will be able to attain that calm state and we are talking about calm mind right so 80% of the thoughts are negative most often for the people who are into that agitated mode anxious mode and that negative emotion not everybody ellarkume 80% negative kadaiyadu it depends on how you tame your mind right so we will help you how to do that today okay we said okay 80% negative emotion engen varudhu what is that causing that emotion sometimes probably that lack of social support you feel very lonely thaniya irukiradhu namak and required support kedaikka maatengudhu so we get into some uh, unnecessary thoughts feelings and behavior sometimes being a caregiver i can understand yaro veetla odam seri illa somewhere or even your nature of work is such being a caregiver is such a uh, uh, toughest job i can understand adalla again you are carrying that so probably that is also one of the reason for your emotional exhaustion low job satisfaction so whenever உங்களோட எம்ப்ளாய்மெண்ட்ல இஃப் யூஆர் நாட் ஹாப்பி வித் யுவர் ஜாப் ஓகே தட் அகெயின் ஷோஸ் இன் யோர் இமோஷனல் எக்ஸாஷன் அண்ட் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ஸ்ட்ரகல் ஸோ ஆன் அ டே டு டே இன் ஃபேமிலி யுவர் யூ நோ தட் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ஸ்ட்ரகல்ஸ் வேர் யூஆர் நாட் ப்ராபர்லி ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் ஸ்ட்ரகல் நாட் நெசரி ஓன்லி வித் இன் ஃபேமிலி ஈவன் வித் மை பியர்ஸ் இன் த காலேஜ் ஆர் வித் மை பீப்புள் இன் மை கொலீக்ஸ் ஐ எம் நாட் ஏபிள் டு ஹாவ் அ வெரி கண்டியூசிவ் ரிலேஷன்ஷிப் வித் 
and lack of control sometimes you may feel i'm not having that control i don't know how to control certain emotional outburst right so adinal koda that exhaustion may happen and sometimes it is very common for a grief probably uh, we tend to lose some loved ones so to overcome ange ind velila varamudiya so i have seen people even last year corona even before corona adinal uh, they would have lost some of their uh, uh, kith and kin but still some people are still under uh, in the grief they're not able to overcome that right so that could also be one of the reason and living with a chronic illness okay uh so chronic illness na don't think like your diabetes hypertension is not a chronic illness you that is still manageable and you are doing good with that so probably something beyond that you are not able to manage so working too many hours so where your work life balance is a disrupt you are not able so apart from this even raising children so raising children in this digital age if i ask how many parents are here okay uh so parents in get what to raise in for digital age children a raise pandrendrendu parenting is a one it's a very very toughest job out of everything do you agree i don't know how many parents are here in this group today uh, so if you are all work you can also work you can do so many things but raising children in this scenario is the toughest job and that to after pandemic rendu varsha and online ku apram you know to raise those children whether they are young and adolescent children na it is a more added stress to the parents right so sometimes either tavara there are also peer pressure what you may so here the peer pressure in ring enga varudhu sometimes you are comparing yourself with others your performance related a irukala so most often we get into that comparison mode right with with the physical attributes with our looks uh, tall short fat thin nariya so with the physical attributes you tend to compare yourself with other people with your lifestyle with other people so that itself is a uh, in the pressure vand in the stress vand it is what you are trying to uh, in build you are trying to attract all that actually that is not required so try to have comparison only with yourself uh, try to be a better person tomorrow what you were uh, than yesterday so that will be a very good growth and it is a huge stress for you it is a good stress which is a motivation for you to grow when you going to compare with someone else okay that is going to be a distress and that going to be a bad stress for you throughout you cannot come out of that at all so don't ever try to do that try to overcome that so here this is a one of the a very you know the romba pidicha quote is because when i see my patients this is what i usually follow because there are so many patients who come with depression and it's not like you know one approach will fit everybody that it does not happen like that so here i would rather know the person who has the disease so i want to know about the person i want to know about the person's uh, uh, work culture i want to know about the person's interests likes dislike and basically the and the person or the nature eppadi therinjadha we want to treat a disease rather than know the disease the person has so i am not focused here i am not seeing somebody who comes here you know uh, for a consultation and i am not at, okay you have a depression come so it doesn't work out like that i need to uh, you know see that person as a whole okay the person is having that problem i know but i am seeing not the problem i am seeing him as a person so adha namba paathonale so here that mind body integration is what usually i tend to see do in my therapy because the my goal is not only to uh, you know uh, get the person out of the disease for that moment i want to help that person as a whole to get out of whatever problem he has so that he will be empowered and he'll be able to manage on his own so any problem ena na Uh, we are only uh, focusing only on the disease and we are ignoring the person as a whole yeah okay okay uh, so sometimes you know namak vand physical illness irukum you hurt your back inga adi padum joram varum whatever it is so immediately when somebody knows what will tell namalukku enna kodupuvanga get well soon and message anupuvanga we miss you take as long as you need right yeah okay yeah yeah shweta uh, yeah you reserve your questions okay we'll uh, do it as uh, once when the q and a starts okay so when i heard back so and there were physical illness varumbodhu everybody comes around and tell you you know yeah you be like this you do that this but what if 
when I had a depression. Okay. So here, how many times have you heard people talk about physical health? So often everybody says about your physical health. Nobody, you, you know, as though it is separate from our mental health. So on the mental in the word, it is a wrong Wrong on the cinema, it is being wrongly portrayed. So we don't even want to use the mental word. So it is nothing, it is not away from my physical body. Even my mind and brain, it is all within my own body. They are not two different entities, right? So in the okay, let's come from a different direction. What happens if you stayed up late? How will you feel? You will be a very happy person. Hmm? So how would you feel emotionally afterwards? You're going to feel irritable, right? So nal nal tungala. How will you feel? Will you feel very happy? Irritable. So that irritable, that component is only that emotional part. Okay, and that is going to be take a toll on your emo, uh, physical health aspect. So physical health, and I asked you in the beginning, how many of you had a health checkup? So so many people came out, right? So. But if I'm in the depression or when I'm irritable, why are we, uh, you know, observing that silence? We don't even talk about it. We feel like, you know, going and asking for help is a taboo. It's all very normal. It is not normal. Today, there are many people who said, I have got more than five years, more than six S for the questions. Since how long you have been, you know, in that state of mind? How long you have been suffering? Okay, so today we are... So what you... What do you do to keep your mind healthy? Your mind healthy, what, what are the things that you're trying to do? Okay, physical health and varam bodhi namba pay check up la Okay, we take the pills regularly, then medicines, then But ungloda mind healthy, what are you doing it on a day to day basis? Can you give me answers here? What do you do to keep your mind healthy? Meditate very regularly, okay? Yoga. Meditation, fine. Okay, so the meditation, yoga and pandamoda, yeah, uh, sleeping well, very good. So there are many people when they come for a therapy, they say, yeah, now yoga pandra, and the time it is good, but again, the rest of the day, I'm very stressful. So here I would like to tell you whether you're doing a Gayatri Mantra chanting, a meditation, okay, very good, fine. So the problem is when I'm doing something, uh, you know, meditation, yoga, okay, practicing emotional intelligence, Gayatri Mantra, Alam Pandam Bodhi. You are, don't do it. Edo or ritual la panna kudada. Okay, morning, in the or one hour, I have to do a yoga, I have to do a meditation, I have to chant this. Okay, and a puja pandra, and a Gayatri Mantra chant pandra. It is not only for that. So that is going to help you. Whatever practice you do, and the or one hour or half an hour, enna pandra mo, that has to, you know, keep you balanced for the next part of the day, right? In order, whole day for the rest of the day, this should help me to put me in check. It is not like on the one hour, I'm fine. So we are doing it as a ritual. We say, get it as a way of life. Way of life, na? it is not. Yeah, you can ask me. I agree, but why you are not able to apply that on the meditation pandam bodhi, you feel very calm. You are not getting into thoughts. Probably the thoughts may come and go. But then, why are you not able to apply that whatever you are doing and the practice, why it is not spreading to the rest of the day? Because when you start practicing to keep you, yourself in the same state of mind for the rest of the day, I assure you will be totally free from any stresses, any illnesses emotionally okay 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 stress syndrome depression wrong okay that's okay you can feel you know uh, yeah dance music yeah whatever you love you know there's no limit whatever you feel like doing you do it so that you are stressed uh, uh, you are de-stressed so in the stress in vermorena you are feeling unhappy sometimes we have a headache depression tired frustration so what are all negative emotions? Everything is there, right? Okay. Is it okay to be like that for a long time? I've seen people coming and telling me, ma'am, I've been in stress for the past five to six years. Then have you ever gone to anybody 
இல்ல ஐ ஹவ் நாட் கான் இட்ஸ் ஸ்ட்ரெஸ் ஐ தாட் இட் இஸ் வெரி நார்மல் டு பி லைக் தட் சோ ஐ டிட் டேக் இட் வெரி சீரியஸ்லி ஏ ப்ரோக்ராஸ்டினேஷன் இஸ் தி ஒன் நாட் அலவிங் டு பிராக்டிஸ் மெடிடேஷன் ஓகே வி will fix that okay so here do you know what stress does to your body okay right from your head to toe right i have not listed i've just given only some here i don't want it to scare you so right from your head to toe the stress has its effect on your physical health okay so your headache nam migraine nu solrom right it is because of the stress whatever the frequent infections right epome uh, uh, you know often sometimes our immunity is lowered so stress is in the kandipa your immunity will be less okay often you are prone to infection your muscular tension because am the kovam and the stressful irkumbodu your muscles get tensed it is getting tightened so adanalu you feel that heaviness fatigue we talked about yeah i have headache almost all the day somebody yeah so and the fatigue feeling tired throughout the day because of the stress skin irritation varum right so sometimes and the i have seen i have also uh, you know i had patients with vitiligo issues because that was a very small child he was only 14 years the child had high stress and that boy had vitiligo and uh, the couple stress management pannona it stopped spreading now it is very less so over 6 months therapy we did uh, so again and the breathlessness because you feel that a uh, breathing issues in a bangra stressful are so stress is nothing but a response to your external stimuli external and our situation and our surroundings and my environment is not conducive so adanala i am becoming stressed because i am not able to handle the situation okay what happens to your mind constant worry yeah mouth ulcer constant worrying eppa paathalum worry you know muddled thinking someone said overthinking muddled thinking na or clear focus e kadaiyadu edho inga anga there are so many things coming and disturbing you inability to concentrate kandipa or focus irukadu nightmare thoongum didin elundu yen apdiyaachi okay nightmares indecisions decision edukka theriyala because you don't have the clarity and the so much of negativity in the mind right i showed so many emotions adellame irukku hasty decision so we tend to become very impulsive because namakku vandu and the or focus illadanaala and the patients kadaiyadu so we tend to take impulsive decisions probably it 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 may also give a um, you know backfire also so again when it comes to behavior so risk taking yeah we'll do uh, stress management and relaxation techniques is the last slide i'm going to do with you don't worry uh, so behavior problems la enna irukum you will prone to risk taking accident prone romba careless a irupanga stressful la poi idichikirathu always you know whenever such people they are always with some bandage or the other over or under eating so we said in either they tend to eat more or they don't eat at all and uh, again uh, sexual uh, life is totally there's no interest at all either so either they get into coping strategies and anipanga smoke pandradho drink pandradho it is i want to overcome this issue so that i go and get a good night sleep but that is all unhealthy habit that is not going to bring down your stress it is only on the time you are trying to escape from the situation you are trying to manage but it is not a long term uh, help for you and sleeplessness and restlessness so emotions so basically or human being can add you lose the confidence so probably you would have been performing better but in the stress adhigam aagaga you are losing the confidence in yourself right and you tend to be more irritable and over depression anger yara paathalum koom varudhu you don't want to be like that but since you are in that stressful situation that is causing you all these emotions too and anxiousness epome adha and padathama irukadhu calm mind ku opposite and anxious apprehend you are trying to uh, form opinions about uh, so many things again to understand not necessarily that everything is so what happens to the body i listed only very few there are even much more so we say on the kovam anger in irna enna ago it is affecting your brain appo and the migraine headaches tension headaches and the chronic back pain sometimes we talk about idu uh, kuda solluvom uh, uh, spondylitis we are sitting in the same posture for a longer time but over a period of time and the stressful la irukkanaala that and fibromyalgia where you tend to get that pains and anger again that is directly affecting your heart idinala high bp heart diseases prone to that 
So if you have these negative emotions, see what is the effect it is having on a body. It is not important. Yeah, every year I'm going for a health checkup. All my parameters are becoming normal. I'm going to take a medicine. But how are you going to do an emotional health checkup, right? That is also very important. So if you are in control of your emotions, so probably you can also, uh, you know, avoid getting into all these diseases. So resentment, autoimmune disorder, right? You are very prone to that immunity, you're prone to that rheumatoid arthritis. Again, multiple sclerosis, lupus. So see, when we have negative emotion, let's see what kind of bodily effects are happening in our body. Anxiety. Anxiety is the irritable bowel syndrome. Now, during the exam, if exam season, you can look at butterflies in the stomach. In the morning, morning school, and the exam time, it is because of that anxiety, that exam anxiety, that performance anxiety. Sometimes in the office, we have a presentation, we have a review, what kind of uh, you know, emotional state you are in and anxiety. That is that irritable bowel syndrome. Okay. You tend to either, there are again two extremes here, either they're in constipation or they tend to pass loose motion and heart palpitation. So these are only some of the things that I have. So your mind is not in balance. Your body is taking a disrupt. So kindly understand mind is equally very, very important. Okay. So here you can understand. So high energy emotions are in the high BP, covum, insomnia, the sleep issues. Low energy emotions in Irkambodu, lack of confidence. The confidence is that sometimes the, people, the person may be one extremely good academically, but somewhere in the confidence, because in a low energy emotion, I'm not very confident, and the low BP, depression. So these are the things that the person is prone to. Okay. So as a therapist, I want you mind also to be equally in tandem with your body, physical body. Okay, body, sonna, your brain, mind, everything is also inside that. It is not something, okay? So, but what, uh, how are we, uh, you know, conditioned? We view mind and body as two different entities. Mind and other than our body length, we length, you are good. Body, you know, a lot of physical aspects. But don't forget that they are one. It is an unintegrated unit. So, the mind plays a big role. You have seen it, you have seen it. How big role, what kind of role it is, you know, it's playing in a person or a person at overall well-being, your mind should be in check, your mind should be very calm, right? So it is not something out of your body. So we focus on that mind, body, medicine, and us looking the person as a whole. So both are equally important. It is not, you know, uh, you know, you know, the body aspects, character. I don't even bother about my mind. You can't be like that. So oftentimes, sometimes what happens, we are only uh, focused only on my ailments. Yeah, over, uh, okay, someone mentioned about BP, I'm going to take, you know, probably you're on BP tablet, but probably you're always in a stressful situation, right? So how are you going to take check of that? So for that, your mind has to be rested. That has to be calm. So how should you free your mind? Okay. So I can understand there may be million things within yourself. You know, uncontrollably or racing thought. That's what we said. 70,000 thoughts or an average 12,000 to 20,000 thoughts now. One thought after the other. One thought after the other. So it is forming a vicious cycle. So your mind works best only when there is a clarity. focus mind clearer. I can take decision. I can take good decision. I can perform well. Because if you have to your mind, mind is like a huge ball of confusion. Because you get identified with so many things around you, probably. So kindly understand, all your thoughts may not be fact always. Okay, it is only your perception. It is only your assumption. So try to free your mind. So focus on that health and well-being and the feelings. So what kind of thoughts and the thoughts in Radha and the feelings and the feelings are Varmoda and not a very part that emotion is my expression and that is shown in my behavior. Assume you are having a negative thought. Assume you say, I am not a worthy person. I am always unlucky. What kind of feeling you may have? You feel sad. 
நீங்க உங்களே பாவப்பட்டுட்டீங்க இல்லாட்டி யூ ஃபீல் கில்ட்டி யூ ஃபீல் அஷேம்ட் ஆஃப் யுவர் செல்ஃப் ஸோ வாட் கைண்ட் ஆஃப் இமோஷன் யூ ஆர் இன்டு டிப்ரெஷன் ஸோ பிஹேவியர் எப்படி இருக்கும் யூ வாண்ட் டு வித்ரா ஃப்ரம் பீப்புள் ரைட் யூ வாண்ட் டு வித்ரா யூ டோன்ட் கோ பிங்கிள் வித் பீப்புள் வென் யூ ஹேவ் திஸ் ஃபீலிங் யூ ஆர் கெட்டிங் ஐசோலேட்டட் யூ ஃபீல் யூர் நாட் பர்த்தி சோஷியல் இன்ட்ராக்ஷன் இருக்காது யூஆர் ட்ரைங் டு சோஷியலி வித்ரா யுவர் செல்ஃப் so so in the last week i had a patient okay uh she is age 35 nalla good health uh, constantly gets worried for everything under the sun two kids age 10 and 7 both well behaved academically good husband is very caring but only problem is na she came to me for often gets thought that as like what would happen today she is 35 and she feels like na 50 years agumbodu enak enna agum in case and again i to if i pass you know i die what will happen to my children what will happen to my family okay so in the thought when the, for the past few weeks she has been suffering with this thought and that had caused her sleepless nights and complaints of psychosomatic illness she went inga valikudu anga valikudu as i said you know she went all her reports came normal because she did not sleep properly so inga vand can you identify what is she suffering with So in the case study, every day we, every day we see some, you know, associated with stress, anxiety. So what is she suffering with actually? Anxiety. What is anxiety? Either I am brooding over the past, not that I'm emotional baggage, I worry, not that I worry, I am anticipating my future. Anticipating my future, now, there should be a future plan, but this is the future plan. this is not a future plan this is a uh, you know other the anxiety enna nadakumo that is not in our control so in the anxiety in rather this is what so sometimes we feel she has a wonderful family very happily going but unnecessarily fear of the future sometimes fear of unknown you don't know what may happen she is thinking about 15 years ahead namak theriyadhu naalaga enna nadakum right so this anxiety is what you know she is having all the psychosomatic complaints ellame and anxiety nal uh, so six to eight specialists have pathu ellame normal ah undachu but then she felt inga valikira maadhi irukku inga enna pandra maadhi irukku but everything was normal so here this is a pure case study of illusion more affection and family got it but then you have to be very sensible in thinking what am i doing it right so unnecessarily here you're getting into or konja naalave vand or two weeks search has been struggling with this thought okay then uh, anxiety anxiety is not going to do any good right because you need to understand what is in within your sphere of control and what is not in your control if something is in your control it makes sense to worry about it when something is not in your control it doesn't make any uh, is not going to take you anywhere so in the or case study one it's like you know it's like mind over matter so your mind plays a very very important role yeah i will tell you how to solve that so mind plays a very important role uh, so there was a case i don't know how many people have uh, uh, known about there is a lady called anita murjani uh, so ivanga vand in 2002 uh, she was she is an indian but she was romba early age liye she moved to hong kong with her family and then she started to live there so when she was uh, 40 year old thinking that all are under her control okay uh, so when anita murjani went when she was 40 years they found like uh, she had that uh, lung cancer and she was in stage 4 so doc all of a sudden uh, in 2006 la vand one day she slipped into coma and doctor said ivanga uh, vand she is in the fag end of her so she may hardly live for a week avladha Uh, so she was able to it's a real case anita murjani ninga pathinga theriyum about her case study uh, so then it is like she also wrote a book uh, you know uh, better to beyond death or something edo or book kuda avanga ezhudiranga it is a best selling book actually so avanga vandu people the doctor said illa ivanga kaapathave mudiyadu she has to pass away onme illa everything they just given up on her Uh, but she is in coma she said like after coming out that she has given interview she said she was able to hear everything she was able to hear everything what is happening but she was not able to open her eyes and because she was in coma so she made up her mind like if i have to come 
you know come back from this illness and i want to live all over again i don't want to live with this chemotherapy or lung cancer anymore i want to be a better person uh, so with that determination within a week's time she came out of coma and uh, you know later or three months six months she was totally uh, out of her uh, lung issues and no chemo anymore so she said like yeah dying uh yeah dying to be me dying to be me is the book written by her right so kindly uh, if at all you have time at least uh, uh, hear her in a youtube or something like that uh dying to be me yeah so she says it is a real it's a death she has seen the death and she felt like avanga solranga as if enoda body enoda and enoda conscious vand and the body lendu velila poi as if i am looking at that dead body and i felt no i want to come back to life i fought over the illness and today she is an influencer right so most of the cases we have seen abhi patha ipo in the rendu varsham corona la you would have seen so many people who have had you know avangala saturation vandu romba kammiya poi 30 35% poi but then they had to fought over their mind was they were uh, mind was too strong and they fought over it and they are still a survivor and there are also many cases who just died of the fear you agree yeah uh, illusion and delusion the illusion is not there it's only illusion okay so it is mind over matter if at all you are very determined about you know i can fight over anything in my life even if it is a chronic illness so you have to master your mind so that is the key here okay do you know what what is hypnosis if i tell you every day each one of us are practicing hypnosis you will not believe everybody daily nammale nammala hypnotize panikrom how we use certain statements on a day to day basis so we said now and the 90 and the 60 000, 70000 thoughts la vandu we said 80% are negative and 90% are recurring thoughts daily adhe thoughts dhaan vandirukku few are newly added okay so and the conditioning of our mind na how many of us keep telling ennala idu panna mudiyadu illa enak luck kadaiyadu enak thookam varadu ennoda ipdi dhaan na vaalanu okay i have to live with this i can't do so how many every day how many excuses i can't i am unable to so in the madri how many statements we are trying to talk to each of us on a day to day basis so idha da vandha nama self hypnosis nu solrom you are trying to talk to yourself or even talk to somebody else around you all negative around you so idanal over a period of time your mind feels oh this person is this only that is why we put it as a cob web you are creating that cob web in your mind on a day to day basis by all these negative self talk you are conditioning your mind okay you are conditioning your mind so we say explore the psychology of possibility you know possibility nam explore panna poma sky is the limit there is no limitation at all but even without that so probably you would have tried you are not able to do that but don't talk instead you can say i can't do this anymore i am unable to do this so instead try to you know i am trying my best so try to change your language so the language of words what you use regularly is what forming the cobwebs in your mind so kindly avoid it if you are able to avoid that and try to reframe that's what we call in our therapy sessions like we do a cognitive restructuring you know it is like a cobweb ella alukku maari irukku so we have to remove all that trash from your mind and fill everything with positivity so cognitive reframing has to happen okay if you have to overcome all these problems not necessarily see hypnosis self hypnosis you are doing a self hypnosis by using the kind of words on a day to day basis about yourself ennala idu panna mudiyala i am not lucky 
you know na ipdi yen ipdi irken i have to live with this so you're trying to crib nam ellame vand daily and we are prone to the cribbing idu illa adu illa idu illa so we are not you know happy about what we have so these are this is what the conditioning and we are doing the self hypnosis all your negative thoughts whatever thoughts negative thoughts that is the self hypnosis and that goes and creates a cobweb in your mind so if the cobweb is blow in the mind la how can you think clearly you can't be happy right okay so how to deal with that stress and anxiety one thing someone said you know accept that you cannot control everything kindly you know you need to really understand ellame namma control panna mudiyadu even the kids okay in your kids and you say you have to be like this if you are going to be a authoritative parent it is not going to work with those kids if you say no it is all yes for them so accept that you cannot control everything so put your stress in a perspective so ungalaoda stress take one particular issue put it in that check whether it is really as bad as you think or do you have any solution for that right and always try to do your best okay so try to give your best so sometimes what happens people tend to be obsessed with more perfection perfect ah ellame best ah pananum na vandu perfect ah pandren so i want people around me whether it is my children my spouse or in my colleague ellarume vandu ellame perfect ah pannu everybody are not you so try to understand everybody have their own way of doing things so that expectation is where sometimes it is a problem so instead of aiming for perfection from people around you so you know it is only the baby steps be happy with whatever outcome you are getting because problem office liyo namak or workplace liyo illa week liyo problem enna na na nenacha maadhiri dhaan ellarume nadakkano this is how i am i am probably you are a very different person you are brought up as different you are in a different kind of a person you cannot expect the same with everybody around you right each person is different so maintain a positive attitude so someone was telling me positive positive nu solreenga eppadi positive ah irukirathu so make an effort so whatever we said and the replace your negative thoughts with your positive so uh, positive ah irunga nu sonna talk only positive things even about yourself ungala pathiyume positive ah pesunga illa ennal idu panna mudiyala nu solladinga na idu panna try panitt iruken ennal evlo mudiyumo na pandren இல்ல என்னால பண்ணவே முடியாதுன்னு சொன்னா அகைன் இட் இஸ் அ நெகட்டிவ் யோர் மைண்ட் இஸ் கண்டிஷன் ஓ இது பண்ணவே முடியாது நீங்க ட்ரை பண்ணாலும் யோர் மைண்ட் இஸ் டெலிங் உன்னாலதான் இது பண்ண முடியாது இல்ல சோ டோன்ட் டூ தட் சோ தட் இஸ் அ ரீசன் யூ ஆர் நாட் ஏபிள் டு டு சோ லேர்ன் வாட் ரிகர்ஸ் யுவர் ஆங்ஸைட்டி சோ நம்மளோட அந்த ஆங்ஸைட்டி காரணம் என்ன ஆங்ஸைட்டினா என்ன பதட்டமா இருக்குது கவலையா இருக்குது சோ வாட் இஸ் ட்ரிகரிங் எது எதனால நான் இன்னைக்கு இந்த சிச்சுவேஷன்ல இருக்கேன் சோ ட்ரை டு ஐடென்டிஃபை த ட்ரிகர் okay ad identify pannama na anxiety la irukken radhanal don't show that emotion to everybody around you okay so this is what we say that emotional control so whether is it a work a family a school enga irnalo or okay so whenever you feel so sometimes you can try to write a journal okay edunala irukku so try to identify so gaining mastery over the mind so we were talking about mind over matter and so on we were talking about the case study also so how to gain mastery over my mind so be aware of what kind of thoughts illa ennal idu panna mudiyadhu i am not worth it i am not capable enough and the mari ela nadakkumbodhu it is a negative thought so don't so try to reframe it and what kind of emotions and how it is affecting your body recognize healthy ways to cope with stress so nama nariyanga sonna okay uh, getting into unhealthy coping mechanism is not going to help you in the wrong long run okay even or two days back kuda i had a consultation so the person was telling bayangarama stress irukku ma'am i don't have any bad habits but if i try pannalama nu paakuren because i'm not able to come out i said inge nu vella varadhukaga go don't go and get yourself trapped in some unhealthy habits don't worry we will put you in a therapy session and we'll help you overcome that so at the get like don't go and find something which you have not done and that is not going to help your body regularly doing things that are meaningful and reflect our values so whatever you feel like doing ungalku enna pidikudho adu pannunga whatever you feel happy about it okay not just because someone else is telling you okay each one have their own preferences having strong relationship with people who are important in our life so try to maintain that strong relationship with it but don't get personal don't take very uh, things very personal 
so probably only in that situation people are uh, you know behaving with you in that particular way so don't form perceptions so hacks to calm your mind so namba enna iniki today the world we are living in fast paced world as our lives are getting busier and okay and we want we are running behind that productivity productivity in so on the mari period la your body and mind is beginning to experience that stress so idanala we are getting into all that forms of diseases illnesses unhealthy eating habits so there are so many things okay so inga vandu what are the hacks do nothing sometimes do nothing is basically sometimes we say be yourself very calm meditating okay starts uh, daily try to do 5 minutes so probably you take one thought and you feel like yeah i have to block this thought okay and practice affirmations i like myself so idu na vandu they were telling eppadi positive a irukiradhu solunga na i like myself so self love is the first step how much you love yourself that is very important so probably because how much you love yourself uh, sometimes you hate yourself you feel i'm not worth it adhu idun sollumbodhu you are not loving yourself as a person right so your self love is very important only when you start loving yourself you can expect others to love you okay when you hate how can you expect others to love you right and always feel i am the best whatever you are doing feel that you are doing the best and i can do it i love so these are the positive affirmations what we feel uh, we tell like you know reframe it from your negative practice gratitude okay gratitude whatever good things happen to you even if there are 99 bad things happen to you on that particular day at least edo or one avad or nalla vishayam nadandirukum so try to be thankful for that so the gratitude namma practice pannumbodhu your mind is again becoming better make positivity a habit okay as to replace all this negative emotion exercise every day exercise every day i am not telling you do a workout apdi illa kadaiyathu whatever you are feeling like probably people said dance music edo arnal parvala whatever you feel like you know exercise in your mood just go for a walk or try to do some physical activity go get yourself um uh, in connection with the nature so nature la pe velila ukkarumbodhu that will give you a relaxation uh, don't take your thoughts too personally and the or situation la things would have happened so don't take it and don't try to put yourself into that again your thoughts are not facts always eat healthy food so sometimes we tend to eat unhealthy food so healthy food is very very important to your thoughts quality of thoughts doodle doodle is something you know what we say it's not google it's doodle whenever you feel bored you know whatever comes to your mind try to uh, scribble or draw something so that you feel better maintain a journal so try to write i'm not telling you to do a diary writing but try to maintain a journal daily enna nadandhadu or important activities whether it is good bad so that you can see what kind of pattern connect with nature so expand your social circle and expand your social circle and varumbodhu be very 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 uh, uh, you know mindful about choosing your people around you because if there are going to be good people positive people around you are going to get a positive vibe nalla positive ah irukum avanga vandu epa paathal kora sollikite irukravangala and something they are always complaining complaining irundha kandipa vandu you are also going to be that way we you know i really get irritated i also say don't watch the serial there is going to bring all that negative vibes you know possibly you can watch anything that is going to make you laugh or something which is always good for you rather than getting into all the negative nammale or negative ah irukom and again you are also trying to imbibe all that negative around you so if this is again a hypnosis okay unaware of your though you are very mindful unaware of your surroundings you are trying to draw in attract all that be it whether it is positive or negative positive or not it is going to be for a betterment negative or not it is uh, slowly putting you into destruction so be mindful of that okay uh, so it is always uh, better to uh, reach out for help so don't feel bad about it uh, so inga mande and today i just want to tell you ore or we'll just do a, a small activity or a two minute uh, due to time constraint sorry uh, i was not mindful of the time actually i just wanted to do some mindfulness activity uh, so just if wherever you are sit in a very comfortable position okay uh, so in the in the mindfulness practice per vandu you are sending compassion to other people so 
try to sit comfortable wherever you are lying down however you are comfortable so gently close your eyes uh, just follow the instructions what i am talking to you now okay so take a deep breath yeah count till 5 and breathe out slowly just try to relax your mind so try to bring yaar yaar ungalku yaar romba pidikumo try to bring their form in front of you avangala vande bring it bring them bring their image in your mind okay assume and the person vande unga munadi nikranga illa ukandittirukanga ipo feel like that person is sitting or standing in front of you so you're trying to send all the good wishes first you are trying to take in all the good vibes all the positivity within you you are feeling very happy you are in a very happy mood your body is very relaxed your mind is very relaxed you are trying to take all that within your body once you feel very happy about it you want to pass that happy vibes ungalku ipo enna la nadanduchu and happiness ellame vandu you are trying to pass that vibes to the person who is sitting in front of you because always have this thought in your mind everybody wants happiness on this world right nobody wants to get hurt so if i want happiness enak and the sandosham venu i always want to be a happy person free of worries nammala sutti irukravanga ellarkume adu theva people around me are also looking for that only so if i am a happy person i can send all that vibes to the people around me so i am giving all my you know that vibes and that happiness ellame i am giving to the other person who is sitting in front of me so you are passing that uh, energy to the other person right so when you pass that energy to the other person the other person is also becoming happy about it they are also becoming very calm relaxed you are not able to feel any pain in your body your body is very relaxed you are very calm now you don't have any stress you are feeling very relaxed right so here in the madri if you are only able to do that to people around you on a day to day basis the world will be a very better place to live in right and people love to live with such people so we say you know where habits become your medicine so try to inculcate this habit whenever you feel very low okay um due to time constraint sorry uh, or else usually i used to do this for half an hour in a time already running out of time so we have to have a q and a session also sorry uh, so try to practice this so we call it as a compassion mindful compassion and so on right okay you can unmute yourself okay uh, even after this okay do you feel illa um, psychologist kitta pokudadu i am not mental it's not you are not mental okay don't ever feel it's not a wrong word it's okay to reach out for help right okay so you can always contact us 